not working hard. Yeah, right, picture that with a Kodak. Or better yet, go to Times Square, take a picture of me with a Kodak. Took my life from negative to positive. I just want y'all to know that. And tonight, let's enjoy life. With MMAAbsolute.com, and we're joined today with Chad Thomas, who's getting ready to defend his just scrapped heavyweight title on January 14th, right here in Hilo, Hawaii. Chad, you're facing Poel Pongo, who's one of Hawaii's top heavyweights. How do you see this fight playing out? Um, this is a good fight, a uh, long due fight. Uh, I kind of was, I was waiting for this one for a while. As I worked my way up ups on the ranks, um, I was following him. I was watching his record and just hearing his name throughout the MMA scene and um, shucks, the way I see him playing out, I know he's on hammer, he, he come forward, he's a super aggressive fighter <clears throat> and normally I'm the, I'm the aggressor in the fighter so um, it's going to be on, on fight you guys don't like miss, so it's going to be on high pace action fight. Now the Hawaii heavyweight division is constantly growing but you and player, you and, and a few others um, have been on the top of the heat for a long time. Did you think one day that you were gonna meet him inside the cage? Yeah, like I said, I was I was kind of waiting for this fight, but um, just I was kind of banking on my career and, and my um, my upcoming fights. Who I was um, I was uh, fighting against and working my way up, and that was my goal was to fight Paya, um, just to be the best. You gotta fight the best out there. So, like you said, there's a lot of up and coming heavyweights, and um, Paya is, is like one of the best in Hawaii. Now speaking about you know some of Hawaii's top heavyweight fighters, in your opinion, who, who do you think are some of the some of the best heavyweights that are coming out right now? Oh man, and I never do take one heavyweight for granted because it only takes one punch and one shot to, to take you out. But for me personally, is um I I, I uh, fought him twice. Is is Joey Palami? Nobody can take anything away from that guy. To me, it's the, it's the toughest fighter I fought yet. Um, tougher than Dylan Rush. Tougher than whatever other guys I fought, I mean, but Joey is up there. Up there. Um, so, with the playoff fight going, however it goes, um, um, with my future, I would like to meet up with Joey again. And um, another another heavyweight I lost against, Dylan Rush, I would like to meet up with him to um, to fight him again, to redeem, redeem some, some bad blood. But um, Dylan, Dylan's another one. Um, he has the size, he has the, the weight, um, but but for uh, experience-wise, I mean, to me, he never really earned his ranks yet. You know what I mean? He did a couple fights on his belt. He, he beat me his second fight of his MMA career. He beat me. Um, I give him that. But other than that, to me, Joey Palamia and um, uh, Paya Pongo is the, 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 the heavy hitters of that. And coming up, upcoming guy is Tyler Lawifi, the, the guy I just fought in my last year's scrap. Uh, we went three rounds, but that kid just turned 21. Um, good, good heart. You can just see. I mean, the guys in training. Uh, he's he's on. He's another force to be reckoned with. So. Now I know in your last fight you you injured your hand. Has that all healed up? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I get I get some good doctors out there. Um, I did what I had to do to to um, heal my hand properly. Um, I've uh, been sparring heavy since the last four weeks. So it seems like it's hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um, then there's been a rumor that you might be also fighting on the Pro Elite card uh, that's a week after Just Scrap. Is there any truth to that? Um, actually, I, the rumor was uh, I was supposed to meet Paella at the Pro Elite. Um, and on this Just Scrap card, I was supposed to fight Ola for Um Ola got hurt, so Paella took the Just Scrap. So right now, it's kind of in the air with the Pro Elite. I mean, I hope I do because of the uh, exposure and whatnot. Um, just finding the opponent, I think, is what they're having trouble with right now. Mm -hmm. But um, but the priority right now is is play uh, is that just scrap fight. Um, um, whatever happens the week before, if, if it does happen, if I do get a fight, or if not, um, I, I'm just gonna concentrate on this, this cool. just scrap. Yeah. Well, Chad, thank you for your time. In closing, any last words? Any shout outs to anybody? Uh, yeah, I just like um, give one shout out to other my trainers. Um, Rasta Boss, uh, Shane Nelson, Chad Howard. But, uh, we all, we all husbands and we all dads and we all get eight, ten hour jobs and and for them to come in and sacrifice their time to help 
me personally and the other fighters training on their yes, on the big thing. So attendance and commitment is on big thing in, in the training. And if you show up, they're here. We don't have to be here at all. So I'll give a shout out to Ross, big time, um, brother Ross Shane, Chad Howell, and um, all the other guys that come and train here that, that don't fight either on the card that just help us get ready. And um, of course to Busta and Solomon with the MMA absolutely. Thank you for your time and I will see you on the 14th. Right on, thanks Busta. Whichever comes first, for better or worse. He's married to the game like a